Hey everyone, welcome back to my farm. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Now in this video, I'm going to be looking at the sanctuary. I'm going to give you guys every detailed information about the sanctuary. Now sanctuary unlocks at level 34 in the farm when you guys unlock your town located right here. And on the reputation level 3, you get access to your sanctuary. Now let's go to the town and have a look at the sanctuary. Alright guys, so before you haven't upgraded your sanctuary, it looks just like this. It looks like a wooden platter or a board. And it's just like your um, boat, your boat otters place. So you're only going to need 10,000 gold coins to repair this um, wooden platter or whatever you want to call it. And it'll take four hours. So it's not like a lot of time you guys have to wait. So, so once you up, um, repair your wooden platter, it looks just like this. All right, guys, it looks just like this once you finally upgraded. Um, I mean, you repaired your wooden um, block. It looks just like this. It just looks, looks like your machine that's being repaired. All right, guys, when you open that, it looks like there's a book and there's two plants. It looks really wonderful. And there's a book that's jumping and you guys can see an arrow just above the book, which says that you have to tap on that. And Mr. Weaker is showing us, let's check the old log book. And now after checking your log, now once you guys finally tap on your jumping book, you will get an animal totally for free. You don't have to pay that, um, pay for that animal. Now that could be a random animal, that could be anything in the game. You can get a hippo, you can get a giraffe, you can get elephant, that's all it depends upon the game. So you're gonna get one for free. And you guys can see written here, completed place giraffe's house to get this animal. Now you have to buy the house. Now here you guys can see giraffe house for zero coins. You have to buy one, it's not gonna cost you anything. And you can buy it from the shop tab located just um, down left corner in the game. All right, guys, here we go. We've bought the house. Now your animal is arriving from the sky with the balloons. And I think it's coming by an airplane. So maybe some people have thrown this to you as a gift. Now you guys can see there's balloons and there's some signs which shows it's the foot of any wild animal. All right, so this is going to come to your farm and Mr. Beaker says, there it comes. And after that, you're going to, all right, you can make food for the sanctuary animals in your farms, a feed meal. Keep them happy and they reward you with XP and goodies. All right, guys, now here you can see that there's only one animal and that is a gray elephant. So um, the house looks really in a bad condition right now. So if you guys check the um, the book, the animals book, you guys can see great elephant total free. Now you've unlocked your brown elephant. So that is the same case with each animal. When you unlock the one animal, the other one gets um, unlocked. So you have to collect 36 puzzle pieces. Now here you guys can see gray hippo is unlocked while the brown hippo is still locked. And it says unlocked after first animal of the same species is complete, which is good. Same with the beige giraffe and then your yellow giraffe. And then you guys have um, gray elephant calves, which are baby animals in the game. And these were added in December 2000 update, 2017 update. But the big animals were added in, um, I guess that was June 2017. But these zebras, this mohawk and the cowlick zebra, these were added into the game in October, last October update in Haiti. Now, when you have the one animal, it looks really alone and just doesn't look good. So you guys also get access to a decoration. Now, for example, here with this gray elephant, I have got two decorations, which are Baobab tree, which cost um, one green, one purple voucher, and five green vouchers. And termite mount costs 5,000 gold coins at first. But remember that when you get um, an animal unlocked, you get two decorations, which are like one here and second here for free. You don't have to pay anything, but later on you have to pay um, for them to buy them. Now you can also unlock other animals in order to make your sanctuary look good. Um, by completing these puzzle books, so it's kind of challenging. All right, guys, here we are in the sanctuary, and now you guys can see three animals are unlocked. 
one hippo, one giraffe, and the one elephant. And you guys can see different decorations with them as well. Now, I personally love these decorations because I think these decorations enhance the natural beauty of my sanctuary. This looks totally perfect, and it reminds me of so many movies that I watched, like Madagascar, The, the Lion King, and so many great films. Now, these animals will roam around freely. You guys can see here the more information, which is sanctuary information. So you guys can see, you can also upgrade their houses once you unlock the other animal of the same species. Now, town visitors. So let's talk something about the town visitors. Now, the town visitors in the game also visit your sanctuary here. And they sometimes reward you with some goodies. Now let's talk about their feed. So basically, they're gonna feed on this wheat bundle. So I'm gonna feed them, but currently I guess they're not hungry. So what happens when they're hungry, they go to sleep by eating that. And you guys wake them up and you get any good reward or like anything. You get XP, 25 XP for one animal. Alright guys, let's see how to make your wheat bundle. So 75 wheat for three wheat bundles and it's gonna take one hour and 21 minutes. So I think it's it's a kind of long time to make them. So make sure you make them at night time and you put them in quantity. So 75 wheat is a lot. Make sure you do weeding and you have some goodies stored. Now there are total three achievements in the game that are related to your sanctuary. One of them is Savannah Sanctuary 2 or 3, which is Collect four seven animals in your sanctuary, and you're gonna collect a total of six. So these are only big animals. And then you have big updates three, which is you have to feed your sanctuary animals fifteen hundred times. I'm gonna give you three diamonds and um, three thousand XP. And the last but not the least is seven of babies. You have to collect a total of six seven of babies in the sanctuary. Alright guys, here is the main question. How are you going to unlock these animals? Of course, you're going to need a lot of puzzle pieces. Now, I'm going to tell you guys where you can get the puzzle pieces in the game. Um, puzzle pieces are not that hard to get in the game. They can come by so many ways that we're going to discuss right now. Alright guys, so the first tip to get the puzzles in the game is by the puzzle board event which you guys can see is right here even board so um this even comes randomly for one day and you guys can get a total of five rewards for each puzzle piece so here you guys can actually get access to five puzzle pieces so don't miss this event they're really great and you can get so many puzzle pieces from here so you guys can see five of total um rewards which are your puzzle pieces now, when your board's gonna have a puzzle piece, it looks just like this. Um, extra rewards, which is puzzle piece, and up above you guys can see the order that you're gonna get for your boat. All right guys, so the number second way of getting the puzzle pieces in the game is of course by Wheel of Fortune, which is not a very good method. I mean, I mean, if you're lucky enough, you can get that. But of course, I'm, I'm never looking in the game and I never get them. I'm saying, you guys, it's it, it's very rare that I, I get something from the Wheel of Fortune that I need. So, um, if you get this, there is an event in the game sometimes for one day, which is Wheel of Fortune puzzle event. So, you have to just spin the Wheel of Fortune, and if you're lucky, you're going to get one puzzle piece. But as I earlier said that, it's not a very good way to get that, only if you're lucky. But you can always spend diamonds on this and maybe you can do one more spin if you're lucky you can get that or not. Alright guys, the number third way of getting the puzzle pieces in the game is a very effective method and that is of course your derby hardships reward. Now make sure you play the derby, you complete your tasks and you can get access to many puzzle pieces. Now here you guys can see two puzzle pieces that have been circled and if you're lucky you might get three. And in special derbies of course you get like three to five puzzle pieces so derbies um are a really great way of having the puzzle pieces in the game so make sure you play the derby complete your tasks and now there are two other ways to find the puzzle pieces in the game which are one of them is mystery boxes so if you're lucky you can find a mystery box in some people's farms and that might have a puzzle board now i cannot ensure you about this but only if you're lucky like you guys saw here i could not open the mystery box and i'm not going to spend my diamonds of course because that would be a waste so let's visit some more farms and have a look if we can find a mystery box and if we're lucky enough to open that. Now it's kind of hard, it's kind of challenging sometimes to find a mystery box in the game if it's hidden somewhere in between trees. Mostly it's not hidden. And also when you um, close the mystery box, I mean you cannot open that. It's, it's hard to get the 
get once again at the same time. So I think it's going to be after some time that I'm going to get a mystery box. Currently, I don't see any way of getting that, but let's just see. All right, guys, so that was number four. I said that you have to find mystery boxes, and if you're lucky, you might get some puzzle pieces in them as well. Now, I'm going to talk about the last way of getting the puzzle pieces in the game, which is a new method that is added into the game in June 2019, which is the Valley. Now, go to the Valley shop and make sure you have a lot of tokens. Now, you guys can see here, I have already bought one puzzle piece, which is already purchased. And if you guys come back down, you guys can see there's another one that's purchased, and I bought that. So, if you come down here, you guys can see I can buy one more. But that's, of course, going to cost me some tokens, which is 285 of the blue and the red tokens and 280 of the green tokens. Now, of course, you know how to get the tokens in the game by serving the otters, completing the otters. Just like this, here I'm going to go and I'm going to collect some tokens. So, complete the point tasks and get them. And then finally, you have access to this shop. So, I'm going to buy one puzzle piece right here. All right, that is a purchase. Cool, great. Now I'm gonna go to my sanctuary and have a look to show you guys what's happening in there. All right, now the thing that I like the most about that are the gifts that you guys get in here. Now your townies, after being served in the buildings, come to your sanctuary to have a look and when they like the animal, of course they do, they're super great, they leave a gift right here, which could be um, coins, um, town tools, salad tools, barn tools, and other stuff. Now, let's see what puzzle piece I got. Ooh, I got one for my brown hippo calf, and I'm so close to unlock this. I just need four more. So, guys, you can see here is my puzzle book. I've already got all the big animals. I've got almost all of my baby animals as well as brown hippo calf. And um, now the challenge is the Mohawk zebra, which I'm so excited about because I know it looks perfect in the game. It actually enhances the beauty of the sanctuary. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm really excited for that you guys can see here I have almost all the animals you guys just have to feed them but currently I'm not making any feed because it takes a lot of time and I'm in no rush so you guys can just um, blow the visual and they will go there and they look so cute you guys I love, I love the animation of the of the sanctuary in the game just look at the animals and I've named them as well so that is muddy that's duster of course because he cleans your dot. So here you guys can see, and look at that little cute elephant that's looking at me with those big eyes. What happened to you, little kid? Are you okay? I think they're hungry, though. I think I need to feed them. So that's Billy here, and then I have... All right, who is here? Okay, that seems very confused. Wait, let me see. That is Shaker, because he shakes his legs. And that is Slipper, because he, he slips. Ah. Okay. All right, guys. You guys can see very good. All right, guys. Now I'm at Greg's sanctuary, and we're ha gonna have a final look at the sanctuary and have a look at this beautiful design. So his puzzle book is almost completed, but I guess we cannot see that. All right. So here are the zebras. Oh my God, they look perfect. Just look at that, guys. Their animation and their style and the things that they do. Oh my god, he's showing his teeth. Super white. I cannot wait to get the zebras. I think the zebras are going to be my favorite animals in the sanctuary after the, the elephants, to be honest. So I'm going to show you guys their house, which should be here in somewhere. All right, that's elephant house. That's giraffe house. That is hippo house. Where is... All right, this is the zebra house in the game. And these are the decorations that you guys get. And I totally love the decorations in the game that we get after unlocking these animals all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video comment down below tell me how many animals you have unlocked already and how many more to go and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day and enjoy the game